Hey everyone, it's Kevin. I just wanted to share a quick Blender 3D tutorial to make these easy trees with grease pencil. During my live stream yesterday, I was working on another piece and ended up thinking through the process to create these, and I thought that this might be a fun video to share. These trees are similar to the ones you can find in my teacups animation I just uploaded. There are two ways I'm going to show you to achieve this, and both techniques require using the free add-on sapling tree gen and the installation of Daniel Martinez Lara's brushes pack that I'll walk you through. Also, you can do this with either a mouse or a tablet. So with Blender open, we're going to adjust a few options first. In the Layout workspace, let's go into the Render Properties tab. Turn on Bloom, then go down to Color Management and switch the option in the View Transform dropdown from Filmic to Standard. Then we're going to install the add-on Sapling Tree Gen, and you can actually do this right inside Blender. Go up to Edit at the top, Preferences, then Add-ons, and search Sapling Tree Gen. Check the option that says Add Curve Sapling Tree Gen. Once checked, close out of Blender Preferences, and in the 3D viewport, hit Shift-A to bring in a new object. Go to Curve, and you'll see Sapling Tree Gen at the bottom. Click on it to bring in a tree. You get this menu at the bottom left, and when you expand it, you have a couple of options here that you are free to explore but I'm going to choose a Japanese maple from the load preset settings, and then we'll go to branch splitting and change the levels to one to remove some of that detail. Let's also hide this cube for now with H. So I'm going to show you the two methods to achieve this tree, and this one is the first. Before we do that, let's duplicate this and name these tree one and tree two respectively, then hide tree two for now. So I want to convert tree one to a grease pencil object. And to do that, you'll need to select the tree, right click and go down to convert to, and then select mesh first. If we selected grease pencil from here, it would take the curve data and it wouldn't look right. So we need to convert to a mesh first, and then we do it again to convert to a grease pencil object. Once we do that, we get this weird rib looking tree. So let's go into our layers panel, which is this green icon here and delete the lines layer. So only the fill layer remains. Let's uncheck Use Lights. Then click on this red globe looking icon, which is the Material Properties tab, and change the fill color to whatever you want. I'm picking a reddish pink. Let's also enter Render Preview Mode for the next steps and actually set a background color by going to the World Properties tab. I'm going to pick a soft yellow. So now we want to put leaves on this tree. Going back to the Layers panel, let's create a new layer called Leaves and uncheck Use Lights. To do this, we're going to use the Brushes Pack by Daniel Martinez Lara that you can also install within Blender. In Draw Mode, go to the Active Tool and Workspace Settings, which is this tool icon. Then click on the Brush Special dropdown and select Download and Import Texture Brush Pack. Then go up to the top left and you'll see the brushes you just installed. So we're going to select this brown leaves brush here. Pick a different color in the picker. I'm picking an orangey color. Now go to the center here and set the stroke placement to stroke and the drawing plane to view. Then go over the branches like this. You'll notice they stick to the surface of the tree since the placement is set to stroke. Then I'll select a golden color and then I'll select a pinkish color. Again, feel free to pick whatever colors you want. Go to the Material Properties tab and under the Vegetation Material, go to Stroke and select Fixed for Alignment. With our leaves drawn, go to Sculpt and select the Thickness tool. Make sure our Leaves layer is locked in our Layers panel. Then go over the leaves to start adjusting the size. The thickness tool allows you to increase or decrease the size depending on if you have the minus or the plus button selected. If it's not doing anything, you'll need to go into edit mode, hit A to select the leaves, and then go back into sculpt mode. Now with the size of the leaves varied, we can adjust some of the color by going to draw mode, selecting the tint tool, and making some color adjustments. I'm using a light color and just clicking on the leaves to add more variety. I also turned down the strength here to lessen the intensity. Then go back into object mode and we can add some glow and rim effects if desired and then render out. So that was the first way, but the second way is what I ended up using for my teacups piece and what I actually prefer to do. So hide the first tree in leaves and unhide tree two. 
This way involves keeping the tree a mesh and then adding grease pencil details on top of it. So with tree 2 selected, right click and convert to a mesh. Let's change this timeline to the shader editor by going to the drop down at the top left of the box and selecting it. With the tree selected, click on new in the shader editor. Let's delete the principled BSDF shader and bring in a diffuse BSDF and connect it to the material output. Then bring in a shader to RGB and then a color ramp and set it to constant. Your setup should look like this. Then for the color ramp, I'm picking a reddish pink color and then a dark color for some dimension. Then bring in a grease pencil blank. Change the shader editor to the timeline and toggle the auto keying button right here. Bring in a new layer, name it leaves and uncheck use lights. Go into draw mode and make sure the stroke placement is set to surface, offset is at zero and drawing plane is set to view. Then with the leaves brush selected, I'm going to select an orange color and go over the branches like before. Then I'll select a light pink color and do the same. Then I'll select another color. Again, feel free to pick whatever colors you'd like. Then go into sculpt mode and enlarge them with the thickness tool. Feel free to go back to draw mode and tint some of the colors to your liking like before. Now I want to add some greenery at the floor here, so in object mode, let's bring back that cube and scale it out with shift Z. Then bring it down with G and then Z just a bit. Go back to your grease pencil leaves layer and draw some leaves at the base. Then enlarge in sculpt and then tint in draw mode. This is optional, but you can also add some details to the tree with stroke placement set to surface. Or you can have some ornaments hanging down with stroke placement set to stroke. You can also add some blurred rim and glow effects as well, and then you have your tree. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful for you guys. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Also, if you're looking for other Blender tutorials, I have this 2D and 3D flower vase scene made with grease pencil and a 2D and 3D happy star scene made with grease pencil and geometry nodes. Thanks again and see you guys next time.